This example of proactivity doesn't belong to a human being. It's in tribute, in tribute to an ant which lived during the time of Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah Almighty, he said, describing the, the kingdom of Sulaiman. Allah said, وَحُشِّرَ لِسُلَيْمَانَ جُنُودُهُ مِنَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ وَالطَّيْرِ فَهُمْ يُزَعُونَ Allah said that the soldiers of Sulaiman were assembled for him. Soldiers from the jinn and men and birds all gathered for him and they were marching in rows. Can you imagine this type of kingdom, dear brothers and sisters? This was not normal prophethood. A man who had by Allah's permission control of the winds, the subservience of the jinn, understanding of the language of the animals. And a prophet whose kingdom was quite simply unheard of in the entire human experience. This is who Sulaiman was. And on one of those days, as he marched on with his assembly, an ant realized that they were coming and so it feared that they would be crushed. And so it took a proactive role. Allah Almighty said, when they finally arrived at the valley of the ants, قالت نملة, an ant said, يا أيها النمل, O ants, ادخلوا مساكنكم, enter your homes. لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون. Lest you may be crushed by Sulaiman and his people or his soldiers without them realizing. Now think about it. This ant could easily have taken to a corner to save itself, no, but it decided to do more. Prophet Sulaiman, therefore, would hear the words of this ant, and as a result, the entire community of ants would be saved. Why? Because of the proactive role that was played by just one of those ants. A story which you and I would have never noticed, by the way. Yeah, we would have never known that this story ever happened, had the Quran not documented it for us to recite. But this is the nature of proactivity, you see. Yeah? The story will be captured by the Qur'an, even if the star of the show was an ant. Proactivity is dear to Allah. So how can you belittle yourself? 